bit more on Jamin Davis it, going into his fourth year. What are you seeing for him as he navigates through this fourth year? What is really standing out about him that, that his development right now? Well, coming into it, uh, Donna, I wanted to find out what were all the unique things that he could. So in the spring, all right, I want to see him guard a tight end. Now I want to see him guard a back. And then now let me see as the pass rush to goes, how do you utilize this size and length that he has? And so part of that, you know, experiment to see, let me see more rush. What about from the end of the line versus blitzing from off the ball? Those were the traits that I was looking at. And um, what's nice is having a guy like Ryan Kerrigan here that can work very specifically on the skills that we're going to ask Jamin to do. So you'll see him before and after practice. So sometimes you're going to see small moments like in micro teaching sessions for five or 10 minutes a day with somebody that over time, Donna can add up. Um, when you keep doing that over and over, your skills are going to continue to increase. And so Ryan and Jamin are closely connected because when you have to play more than one position, there's a, there's a burden uh, that comes with the player. And so that was probably the more difficult part of how to train somebody that plays two positions rather than identifying that. In basketball, how do you have a five that can carry, you know, handle the ball? You don't just put them into the same drill. And so how do you work that and discuss those? So Ryan has been integral part of Jamin's development as an end of the line rusher because when you keep experimenting and moving around, that's where you find out. Donna Hopkins Pro Football Plus here with number 52, Jamin Davis in his fourth year. Jamin, um, talk to me about just the four years and, and what you've learned about yourself in these four years. Uh, grinding growth, most likely. Um, I've just been doing what I can to try to continue to grow and become myself and just do whatever I can to help this team and throughout my career just try to continue to progress and make sure I become a baller. When you look at from the first year to, to now, how would you assess your growth? Uh, astronomical. I mean, I'm far from done, obviously, but I mean, it went from, oh, he's just scratching the surface and all this to more of a, I'm getting more comfortable in my own skin kind of thing, and now it's like now that my feet wet and everything, and we got a pretty good room around us now and stuff like that. I'm just trying to go out there and continue to make some more plays. Talking about the room around you right now with uh, new coaches and so forth, uh, and then the fact that you're playing two positions. He's playing two positions. It's hard enough to kind of like grasp one. But talk about just that development as far as pass rusher and, and linebacker and what has that looked like for you? Uh, it's, it's been pretty smooth so far. I mean, it's one of those things where you got to get a really good routine, and that's one of the things I've been harping on learning from Bobby is, you know, something as simple as making sure you're waking up on time, making sure you're eating at a proper time, and just making sure now that I'm looking at two different positions, like, Film study got to be a lot longer. and You got to make sure you're carving out the right time to make sure you stand on top of everything. So um, that's that's been one of my main focuses in this entire offseason, and I'm just still sticking to it right now. How do you navigate between the two positions, because, uh, you know, as far as they're totally different? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you're going from, hey, now my hand's in the dirt a little bit, so, okay, now I'm back in the box. And right now that's why I've been getting a lot of reps, like coming off the edge and stuff like that, so I can be more comfortable by the time everything gets really rolling. And then, from there, it's just going to be like, who's going to stop me? You hear that, who's going to stop him? But but talk to me about the, the technique that you've got to have as far as the, the pass rusher with the hands in the dirt, the positions and all of that. Uh, for me, it's more so just using my speed to get on the edge. Um, if I can get really like elite at that level to, those, to, to a standpoint of I feel like I'm beating everybody around the edge and then I can just start speed to power and things like that, um, it's no limit to where I can end up taking my game. So I feel like that's more so one of the things I've been working on with Kerrigan at, um, and just trying to continue to progress that in that area. It's funny that you mentioned Ryan Kerrigan, who was here for, for many years as a player, and Coach Quinn talked about how he has helped you in the development. What are some key things that Ryan is telling you or relaying to you that's going to help your process in grasping the whole of everything? He telling me use my attributes. I mean, he is he, he keep telling me every day, oh, use your speed, use your speed. You got it. You got your length, man. You could be a dog. Just you got to go get it. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to just roll out there and happen. So mm -hmm. we just doing whatever we can behind the scenes, especially in the building. We watching extra things so I can see where my steps should be and stuff like that. So where it's just come out here in the second nature to me. Yeah, Coach Norton talked about when uh, looking at a player like Jamin, he said, man, you're the specimen of what a linebacker should be. So how do you think that they're going to utilize you between the two positions? Is that still 
too early to, to look at right now? Uh, I mean, you kind of get a feel for it a little more, just, you know, talking to Dan Quinn and talking to all the coaches and just figuring out what exactly what they want you to do. But more so the big progression right now is getting more comfortable off the edge because, I mean, at the end of the day, like if you can do both, there's no telling where you can take it. Yeah, so, so linebacker, pass rusher, which is your comfort level more so? I mean, I guess the linebacker since you played it all your life. I mean, <laughs> whatever get me in the back <laughs> to make some plays or whatever I need to do to get my hands on the ball. I mean, I'm just trying to go make plays, like I said. And like Jamin said, whatever more so lands him on this roster and everything. But but how has the mental part of these four years been with you? Do you think that you're ahead of the, the curve as far as your development? Or do you think you like, uh, it was stifled because of many things? Uh, more so, I mean, just taking everything like with a chip on my shoulder. I mean, mm -hmm. you always got different distractions and stuff like that outside of ball and, and whatever else. But at the end of the day, you just got to put your best foot forward and keep rolling because at the end of the day, I know who I am at the end of the day and just that's all that's always gonna be me. That's all I can offer. I can just keep stepping up to the plate and just making sure I'm balling. I told you what uh, 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 Ken Norton, Coach Norton would say it about you about having the specimen of the linebackers. But what has he said to you as far as just you, Jamin, as the player, things that he likes about what you do? Uh, I mean, specifically, he makes sure he, like, slides his little notes in at the end of meetings and stuff like that to make sure, like, I know exactly what I need to work on and what I can do to just become a dog even more. And, like, especially now that I got really good guys around me to help out even more with that. Um, it's more so like a listening ear because you know a guy like that, he's been in your shoes and he knows exactly what it takes to get there. So I'm just trusting everything with all the coaches and I'm just going to take this thing to the next level. Do you feel that it's a lot more pressure on you this year or do you feel like that you're more freer this year? More free. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't worry about naysayers or anything like mm -hmm. that. I just step up to the plate and just do it. Hey, Jamin, you know who you are, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Always will. That's, that's never going to change. So what did you do to relax uh, away from football to, to kind of like doing that break before training camp? Uh, it wasn't really too much relaxing. I mean, it was more so just getting ready for a big year. I mean, I was paying attention to everything I needed to do and watching different guys that they recommended to me to figure out, you know, how to use my skill sets to take this thing to the next level. So you probably kick back on the beach a little bit, but you also got your iPad with you watching film. <laughs> so, absolutely. Yeah, you know that's T. So, so last one, as far as just Bobby Wagner and Frankie and, and all of those guys that are, you know, here with the linebackers, how have you seen that group right now evolved for, for all of you all? Uh, it's been pretty cool on and off the field because, I mean, you got really good guys around you, like I said. And, um, like, we've been doing something as simple as, like, getting the guys together outside on our downtime before camp. And it was like, yo, let's go to Top Golf to spend time with each other, just stuff like that. And just, you know, they just really genuine guys that you know that's going to be able to have your back when this thing really get rolling. Are you a good golfer? Yeah. I'm rusty. Hey, I'm hey, hey, rusty. hey, hey, don't, don't, don't go out there with Javen on the <laughs> golf course. Donna Hopkins Pro Football Plus here with number 52, Jamin Davis. Uh, day three of training camp, a lot more from training camp in the weeks to come or the days to come.